Hi guys and welcome back to Used and Reviewed. This is a quick video really just to show you the notification bar on the Galaxy S4, some of its options and how you can get yourself organized. So one of the best features of the S3 that's been obviously pulled over to the S4 is the quick access to settings from the notification bar at the top. Now from here we can obviously turn on and off a number of different settings and features that uh, we, we like such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your mobile data, sound, etc, etc. And really what we can do here is we can customize it a little bit. Once we've got this shown, if you press the top right hand corner, you can see it's like a grid. It will actually show you all of the options that are available in quick access settings. And from here, we can either select them, uh, power saving for example, or we can actually move them around. Now to do so, if you click the edit icon, this will then allow us to set out our quick setting buttons and put them basically in an order that you feel is best. So if there's certain ones that you don't need, you can obviously push them to the back. And likewise, any ones that you do need, you can push them to the top. So for example, if I keep my finger on flight mode, I can move that up to the top and it will actually swap the two icons around. And we can do that for any number of icons. One thing that's disappointing about the S4 is at the moment there is no way to delete any of the quick access settings, which was available on the S3 and I think it's a bit of a step backwards. So the best you can do at the moment is just organize them uh, just to show you your favorite ones towards the front. Now, just another quick tip whilst we're, we're here actually, to show all of the icons, if we use both fingers, we'll obviously display all of the quick setting panel and options available rather than the top five. But again, from here, you have to scroll and select the ones you want to use or not. So it was a really quick video just to show you the notification panel and a quick customization that you can actually do. I hope you like the video. Please give us a thumbs up. Plenty more videos to come. Make sure you subscribe. And if you've got any features you'd like to see me do a video on, then please leave us a comment in the comments box below. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you all in the next video.